Welcome to Most Haunted Extra, an exclusive look behind the scenes of our night in Fitz Hall. We investigate further the secret tunnels with Richard and Phil, and conduct vigils in the corridor, a place where footsteps had been heard, and deep in the woods late at night. Before our investigations, we caught up with Richard and Phil dousing in the gardens. What are you dousing for, Richard? Trying to find a tunnel. I've only got one dousing rod. <laughs> but you can do it with one. So they tell me. What is it, a story or legend or something? It's supposed mm. to be a tunnel. Yeah, it's supposed to be two. It's supposed to be two tunnels. It's supposed to be a tunnel that runs from the house to the church. Why would they want a tunnel there? Well, we're going back to... Um, Tudor times. We're going to back to the times of, of Catholics versus Protestants, and if you were a Catholic in in uh, Tudor England, apart from Mary Tudor, for a short period of four years, apart from that time, if you were a Catholic, you were well a second-class citizen. And if if Queen Elizabeth soldiers came and knocking on the door, and there was a priest here at the time, it would be quick, Father, grab all your your bits mm. down into the priest hole and hide, or into the tunnel, mm. and from the house, from the manor house to the church. There's also supposedly a tunnel that goes to another manor house, but that, would you believe, is supposed to be two miles away, the other house, and goes That's underneath it. the River Seven. Now, come uh, on. When was that I, supposed I, to have been from? Similar time. 15, 1600s? Yeah, I don't believe it. But you see, the, the, the misapprehension of a lot of these tunnels is that they're from the days when Henry VIII dissolved the monasteries, and they got this ridiculous idea that the monks dug this tunnel. And I say, what monks? You know, the, do you mean the chipmunks? No, no, the monks dug a tunnel. Why did the monks dig a tunnel? Oh, to escape Henry VIII's soldiers. Oh, hang on a minute. Henry VIII's soldiers are on the way. Better start digging, lads. How long is it going to take to dig this tunnel while, you know, knocking on the door? Well, let us in. We've come in. And, of course, the ridiculous part about it is that they didn't need to because all these monks and friars... Got paid off. ..were paid they? off. They were pensioned off. They were given a reward to tide them over until they, their pension came through and then sent out to get a, a, a meaningful job. <laughs> Later that night, Richard took some of the crew into the woods to find a very special gravestone. Oh well, dark, dark forest. You're all right. That's a bird. You're bound to get that sort of thing happening. Yeah, a lot of wild life. And remember that life is all right. The death bit that you've got to worry about. This is a yew tree biggest, most hideous looking thing. What is it about yew trees and um, well, the, supernatural the, the, yes, superstitions? They have um, supernatural powers, magical powers, um, going back to the times of the Druids. Celtic mythology. <laughs> what? Sorry. Right. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> it sounded like an animal, I think. Well, it will be. Oh. It, there will be animals. I mean, there's obviously there's badgers and rabbits and things in here, we're bound to disturb them. Birds are just getting up in here. Yeah. Okay. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Look at that horseshoe on the tree. Oh. That's to ward off the evil spirit. <laughs> What's a grave? Grave. Listen to this, girl. Let this stone record the fame of a spaniel, full worth her weight in gold, though sold in puppyhood at sixpence the pound. But to go to all the trouble of creating a gravestone like that just for a dog. Perhaps that dog is quite rare, happy. Hasn't it? And rests in peace. Who knows? <laughs> what? Sorry, 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 sorry. sorry. <laughs> it, it was one of our shadows. <laughs> do not do that to me. I like the way Richard jumps into my arms. <laughs> I did grab both of you, though, didn't I? I was only trying to protect you girls, really. 
Oh, it looks like a small person. It really was a small but person. Running, and it was us. Oh, 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 oh. In the meantime, Derek, Phil and Suzanne decided to conduct an experiment in the hallway involving three candles. The camera needs to be down that end, doesn't it? Do you want me to set it up? Yeah, OK. Here we go. I've got three candles here. I'm going to set them uh, in a row just up the corridor there and see if we get any sort of flickering off them, uh, which might indicate some, somebody walking by. Footsteps have been heard. I've been, yes, I've been told now. The, fa the family said that it, it's heard as if it comes from the playroom. Yeah. Across here, stops outside Helen's room. Right. And then walks through here, down the step, where mm. we are here. Right. And stops. Okay. Visited spirit and the knockdown, but I've had experience with the property. The strongest energy point is between the hour three and four in the morning. Gosh. Suzanne was becoming impatient with the lack of results. So she asked the spirits to show her more. If there's any way you can affect the candles so that we know that you're here. We have a candle flickering madly, a left one where the other's fairly calm at the moment. Mm -hmm. Oh, that was quite a flicker, wasn't it? Mm. Actually, I'm going to have a look see what, what kind of draft's coming through that doorway. Mm. Any draft, Phil? There isn't a real draft there. The candle on the right's flickering mm -hmm. quite a lot now. Yeah. It'd be nice if one of them went out, right? Yeah. Mm. Yeah. If there's anybody here, can you blow one of the candles out? Please. Look at that stretching. Yes. Yeah. Stretching, they get. Yeah, they are. Is that a draft from people walking downstairs? Do no, I wouldn't have thought so, to be honest can't with you. Can it? If this is you, Playing with the candle flames, please try harder. Thank you, middle one. If that's you. Yeah, yeah, there's a response there. Thank you very much. If this is you, please try harder. Please try and blow one of the candles out. We'd really appreciate it. We know he, if this is you, you are trying hard. Despite the flickering candles, all further efforts at conducting spirit activity were in vain. Should we, should we call it quits? Mm. Yeah. I think so. Okay. Signing off, certainly. Yes. Say goodbye, Derek. Goodbye, Derek. Say goodbye, Sue. Goodbye, Sue. And from me, goodbye. Phil. Goodbye. <laughs> Phil. Oh, I forgot what I was. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, then.